it is saturday and it is yard sale day as you can tell by behind me the million cars that are here we have a lot of community yard sales today so kayla and i are moving quick hopefully we're going to find some good stuff to flip the line for a profit that's what i had in this garage for 12 years so i got satellites oh those are jvls they're good speakers yeah they are good speakers you selling the whole thing together 20 bucks 20 bucks i'll do the, the whole thing for 20 bucks yeah. yeah i'll do it for 20 bucks let me see what else getting rid of it <laughs> i understand Fishing gear nowadays is so expensive. So this yard sale, I'm directly in front of a radio that is super loud, so I'm gonna have to do a voiceover, but I pick up a lot of lures here. He's asking about $2 a lure. I'll go over these at the end of the video. Just always be on the lookout for brand new fishing lures because some of them are super expensive nowadays. Even if you go to Walmart or something, they're like 10 to $15 for so. For $2, I was definitely gonna pick these up. Look at the old Coleman. Oh. Yeah, and I don't, you know what? I think he got that for a birthday or a... And I don't know if it's ever been used, to say the truth. How much are we asking? $10. 10 We'll take it for 10 That'll work. You got that little fan. A tent fan. A tent fan. That's pretty nice. That's what you need. I know. I hate being hot. There's a for propane hose. Oh, yeah. Look at the little... That's pretty nice, too. I'll take that. These are nice too, you can them away from the, uh, the flying. Not bad. Yeah, what this is, I think this is a blind. You're the kind of guy I need. <laughs> yeah, I've, I've got some Chevy hats. You got oh, some, oh, they're a filthy. Best that one's pro. nice. Oh, yeah. Whatever yeah. you want. Hi there. Good morning. My dog's blinding. I'm like, yeah, we both I'll retired take... from General Motors, so that's where these oh, really? all came from. Yeah, I'll take this, uh, this one right here. Okay. This thing is nice. All right. Then, how about $25 for the whole thing? That'll work. That sound all right? I got a CNC milled guy. How much do you have on your butters? Shoot, I don't know. What do you and think? We have, more, <laughs> we have more, too. You want, it, want to bring some of the ones down from the attic? I'll wait for the ones from the attic. Okay. Oh, there's like things and things on them up there. <laughs> Um, I guess I'll just have to check them on, online real quick. Oh, okay. I mean, we want to get rid of stuff, so I'm not like trying. I checked a bunch of them, and there was a few valuable ones. I, had to sell on eBay, but I don't know. What do people sell used golf clubs? Uh, usually like these right here are. Mm, oh, uh, usually like five, five bucks, bucks a piece. Yeah. yeah. You do five bucks a piece on these? Yeah. There's a Callaway Lob Wedge, actually. All right, so I got a little discouraged there when he was going to look them up on eBay in front of me because uh, they weren't super expensive clubs anyway. I knew that I was probably going to get it about $20 per club. I just pulled a Callaway Lob Wedge out of there, and right now they're up in the attic actually getting more stuff down. But he said he looked a couple up, and some of them were valuable. And so I was like, well, we don't know his valuable. Maybe he thinks that only a $100 club is worth selling on ebay and turns out when he brings me down this other bag there is a ton of good clubs in here we'll just roll through them real quick the nike bag was actually pretty heavily damaged but there's some pretty good clubs in here got 60 bucks here all right is that good, good. Right. look what i got in the free box hair color is that hair for me color. no <laughs> i mean you could Color my beard. Color your beard. Hair blonde. color for free. Champagne blonde. There you go. There you go. Mm. Oh, whatever. How much was your router? Uh, yeah, ten bucks. Ten bucks? I'll do it for ten. Yeah, it's a good router. Yeah. yeah. All right, two wooden hammers. Crab crackers. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, big old crab. There you go. 
you have a good day. All right, Kayla's out there asking about this ladder. It is a wooden ladder that she wants to put uh, blankets on. I wonder how much she got it for. What do you, how much y'all think she got this wooden ladder for right there? It's a good, good ladder. How much were you asking for the ladder? Five dollars. Oh, man. Good deal. <laughs> <laughs> I cannot pass up on that. Yep. Yeah, because I have 50 million blankets and they're just yep. strung no, everywhere. It is, it is great for that. Yeah, yeah. Yep. thank yep. you so thank much. You. Yeah. yeah, have a great day. You too. I got a ladder. I got a ladder. I got a ladder. Hey, 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 hey. What can do with that ladder, man? Oh, you just wait. French price. Big one at three dollars. Three bucks. I'll take it for three bucks. How much you do for the whole thing? Thirty dollars. Thirty? Do twenty-five? No, nah, that's that's way too much stuff in there. And the day I'm gonna sell it, they're gonna eat it one wrench. <laughs> <laughs> that's true. All right, we'll do thirty for it. Okay. That'll Take work. Back from the yard sales, tons of stuff to go over. And uh, so that's no, without further ado, let's go ahead and get this stuff going. I mean, come on, these yard sales, Kayla even was getting a little upset because there were so many dude yard sales and not a lot of like people, not a lot of girls selling their stuff out there. A lot of guys getting rid of all their stuff, but let's go ahead and start. The, the guy was 100% correct. These are the JBL super, super nice speakers. They actually go for a well over a hundred dollars plus shipping so each one of these are i think it's like 150 plus shipping so people pay 250 dollars easy for these if you didn't want to ship the whole thing and they work properly actually the faces of the this part right here comes off and that sells for like over 20 bucks the tweeters sell for 20 bucks and then the little subwoofer inside also sells for 20 bucks i'm gonna clean them up and sell them i'm not afraid to ship these so it's not that bad to ship speakers they are heavy as long as you pad them correctly i usually you know, 92% of the time they get there, you know, with no damage. The pile right here, not a great buy, but for 20 bucks, I was really going after the speakers. So this, I could probably sell for maybe 15 to 20 bucks locally. So which isn't bad. Coleman, the eight foot propane hose goes for like, right there it says $24. And that's usually what it goes for still on eBay is like 20 bucks. Most of the stuff is brand new. The fan only goes for about $9. This one right here is a newer lantern and they go for about 20 bucks. I got all this for 25 bucks. And then the big stove over here goes for about 30 to 40 pre-owned. I open this up, only looks like it's been used once, so that's pretty good. The uh, the lures here, lures are very expensive nowadays. If you can pick them up brand new at the yard sale for a buck, pick them up, uh, you know, because they just are selling super high in the store. The cool one things back here is you can run into some gems. This is the Storm Shallowmatic. And the Storm Shallowmatics actually go for about 20 bucks a piece. So right there, that's $40. We're gonna keep the gotchas right here because they are good for Spanish mackerel. And um, we catch them down here. The frenzy goes for, I think about 10 bucks. And the rest of these are about five, 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 and five. So that's not bad for $20. The Porter Cable, always a good pickup. There's going to be, if you didn't know, uh, you know exactly how much this thing is worth when you're out there. There's always gonna be a model number on Porter Cables. And this one is the 6902 heavy duty router. You wouldn't believe, got it for $10, goes for about 130 to 140. Pretty good there. The hammers, I mean, uh, I do really well in selling like, you know, wood hammers. I bought a couple before, they always sell for 10 to 20 bucks. These were only a dollar a piece, so $2 here. This one's probably, this one's unbranded. This one is branded by Linkstar Hickory. And this one actually has a sole comp, I think of $15 plus shipping. Kayla picked up the two hair dye right there for free and they're gonna go ahead and go for $5 and $10, which is pretty good. Then I know a lot of people get a lot of questions about the tools I pick up and how I know which ones to pick up and stuff. This, that little thing that I bought for 30 bucks, try to get it down to 25, not a big fan of that. He said, absolutely not, sir. You know, you'll pay me 30. And I said, you're right, I will. Because one, this one right here, the big old snap on long wrench, anything that is like, you know, that's long, it's a long wrench. Those things sell really, really well, especially Snap-on. There's another Snap-on here. I paid 30 bucks for all of it. This one right here is a Mac, and on the back there's going to be a model number, and just type that in. This one, this one, and this one will give me my money back plus some. The rest is going to be profit. 
and they all are name brand SK SK this one's a proto if you can find the uh, like the set of these they go for well over 100 bucks one of them go for about 15 and all of these are just name brand tools and so if you looked in there and you saw this one that said drop forge China with nothing on it it's a 14 millimeter it's not worth much you know what I'm saying like this thing is worth about 50 cents to 25 cents and if that even if you could sell it there's a big difference between this wrench and this one right here and most of it's the name on it right so snap on right there and the steel it's made out of and the metal and all that stuff but this one right here is going to go for 10 to 15 dollars this one you probably really couldn't even sell on ebay so that's a big difference make sure when you're picking up wrenches is that you do look at the name brand and if you don't know a whole bunch about them they're easy to comp out on ebay before you buy them so that's just a a lot of people ask me that question I would not have spent 30 bucks on that uh, container of wrenches if I didn't see Snap-on, Proto, SK, Craftsman, like some good name brand stuff. So that was a good pickup. I think I got like a 27 or 30 decent wrenches. If that go, if they go for $10 a piece, that's like 300 bucks. Uh, I think if, if you put on the low end there for $5 a piece, it's still $150, which is pretty good. Also, the guy that's about ready to look stuff up on eBay in front of me, Whew, that was a little bit scary, but he, he didn't he because this one right here is a good putter It is a McGregor Bobby Grace. It is missing which is sad. It's missing the weights here That's gonna be a pain to sell uh, It probably knocked it down. This is like a $60 putter But with missing the weights probably all the way down to 15 to 20 bucks on that But the lob wedge right here He said that he looked a lot of these up and this one's a good club. This is a Callaway lob wedge uh, X14 this is a 30 40 dollar club right here. So I paid 60 for them all so right there That'll be my money back plus some and then I don't have them all here But we did get a full set of Callaway Big Bertha and this one right here uh, with the set It's going to go for 150 bucks. These are a really fast seller for me They're all in really good condition all of the grips are in really good condition and they're on the Memphis 10 shafts which sell pretty good for me so uh, I don't know if he said they sold a couple pings for over a hundred bucks, so maybe he was only looking for golf clubs over a hundred dollars, but for, you know, I paid 60 bucks for them all days. They're going to sell for 150. I think that that's pretty good. Also, Kayla did buy the $5 ladder that is now in our house that has blankets on it. So I didn't know that you now moved ladders into the house, put blankets on, learn something that day. I do appreciate everybody that watches. I think a really, really good yard sale. We were there super early, but as you saw, tons and tons of competition this day it was insane the amount of people there but even with that many people look at you know what we pulled out of here to make easily probably three to four hundred dollars in profit maybe a little bit more i find that pretty good because this is only first half of that day i do appreciate everybody watching remember if you're not subscribed subscribe comment down below like the video you know i will always get you on the next one